Ujjain Listen is a city in Ujjain district of the Indian state of Madhya Pradesh. It was the capital of the former Gwalior state and it is the fifth largest city in Madhya Pradesh by population and is the administrative center of Ujjain district and Ujjain division. It is a known Hindu pilgrimage center with the Kumbh Mela held here every 12 years. An ancient city situated on the eastern bank of the K Shipra River, Ujjain was the most prominent city on the Malwa Plateau of central India for much of its history. It emerged as the political center of central India around 600 BCE. It was the capital of the ancient Avanti kingdom, one of the 16 Mahajanapadas. It remained an important political, commercial and cultural centre of central India until the early 19th century, when the British administrators decided to develop Indore as an alternative to it. Ujjain continues to be an important place of pilgrimage for Shaivites, Vaishnavites and followers of Shakta. Ujjain has been selected as one of the hundred Indian cities to be developed as a smart city under PM Narendra Modi's flagship Smart Cities mission. History Prehistoric era Excavations at Kayatha around 26 km from Ujjain have revealed Chalcolithic agricultural settlements dating to around 2000 BCE. Chalcolithic sites have also been discovered at other areas around Ujjain, including Nagda, but excavations at Ujjain itself have not revealed any Chalcolithic settlements. Archaeologist H. D. Sankalya theorized that the Chalcolithic settlements at Ujjain were probably destroyed by the Iron Age settlers, according to Hermann Kulk and Dietmar Rothermund, Avanti, whose capital was Ujjain, was one of the earliest outposts in central India and showed signs of early incipient urbanization around 700 BCE. Around 600 BCE, Ujjain emerged as the political, commercial and cultural center of Malwa Plateau. The ancient walled city of Ujjain was located around the Garkalika Hill on the bank of River K. Shipra, in the present-day suburban areas of the Ujjain city. This city covered an irregular pentagonal area of 0.875 square kilometers. It was surrounded by a 12 meters high mud rampart. The archaeological investigations have also indicated the presence of a 45 meters wide and 6.6 .6 meters deep moat around the city. According to F. R. Alchin and George Erdosi, these city defenses were constructed between 6th and 4th centuries BCE. Dieter Schlingloff believes that these were built before 600 BCE. This period is characterized by structures made of stone and burnt brick, tools and weapons made of iron, and black and red burnished ware. According to the Puranic texts, a branch of the legendary Hihaya dynasty ruled over Ujjain. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Ancient Period. In the 4th century BCE, the Mauryan emperor Chandragupta annexed Avanti to his empire. The edicts of his grandson Ashoka mention four provinces of the Mauryan Empire, of which Ujjain was the capital of the western province. During the reign of his father Bindusara, Ashoka served as the viceroy of Ujjain, which highlights the importance of the town. As the viceroy of Ujjain, Ashoka married Devi, the daughter of a merchant from Vedasagiri According to the Sinhalese Buddhist tradition, their children Mahendra and Sangamitra, who preached Buddhism in modern Sri Lanka, were born in Ujjain. From the Mauryan period, northern black polished ware, copper coins, terracotta ring wells, and ivory seals with Brahmi text have been excavated at Ujjain. Ujjain emerged as an important commercial centre, partially because it lay on the trade route connecting North India to the Deccan, starting from Mathura. It also emerged as an important center for intellectual learning among Jain, early Buddhist and Hindu traditions. After the Mauryans, Ujjain was controlled by a number of empires and dynasties, including local dynasties, the Shungas, the Western Satraps, the Satavahanas, and the Guptas. Ujjain remained as an important city of the Guptas during the 4th and the 5th centuries. Kalidasa, the great Indian classical poet of the 5th century who lived in the times of the Gupta king Vikramaditya wrote his epic work Megaduta in which he describes the richness of Ujjain and its people. In the 6th century CE the Chinese pilgrim Xuanzang visited India. He describes the ruler of Avanti as a king who was generous to the poor and presented them with gifts. Barthari is said to have written his great epics, Virat Katha, Nidhi Sataka, the love story of Pradyat Princess Visavadatta and Udayan in Ujjainini, as the city was called during his times. 
The writings of Basa are set in Ujjain, and he probably lived in the city. Kalidasa also refers to Ujjain multiple times, and it appears that he spent at least a part of his life in Ujjain. Murish Chakadika by Shudraka is also set in Ujjain. Ujjain also appears in several stories as the capital of the legendary emperor Vikramaditya. Somadeva's Kathasaritsagra 11th century mentions that the city was created by Vishwakarma, and describes it as invincible, prosperous and full of wonderful sights. After the fall of Mauryans the city Ujjain became a lost kingdom. Until 450 BC when Lalitaditya Muktipid discovered the kingdom and at a rapid rate turned it into an empire called Satavahan as the fourth largest Indian empire covering 65% land mass and population of India and 3% of the entire world. Topic: Medieval period. The Paramaras 9th 14th century CE shifted the region's capital from Ujjain to Dar. In 1235 CE, Iltutmish of Delhi Sultanate plundered the city and destroyed its temples. With the decline of the Paramara kingdom, Ujjain ultimately came under the Islamic rule, like other parts of north central India. The city continued to be an important city of central India. As late as during the times of the Mughal vassal Jai Singh II 1688 who constructed a Jantar Mantar in the city, Ujjain was the largest city and capital of the Malwa Subha. <laughs> Modern period During the 18th century, the city briefly became the capital of Sindhya state of the Maratha Confederacy, when Ranoji Sindhya established his capital at Ujjain in 1731. But his successors moved to Gwalior, where they ruled the Gwalior state in the latter half of the 18th century. The struggle of supremacy between the Holkars of Indore and Sindhyas who ruled Ujjain led to rivalry between the merchants of the two cities. On 18 July 1801, the Holkars defeated the Sindhyas at the Battle of Ujjain. On 1 September, Yashwantrao Holkar entered the city, and demanded a sum of 15 lakh rupees from the city. He received only one-eighth of this amount, the rest was pocketed by his officers. A force sent by Daulat Sindhya later regained control of Ujjain. After both Holkar and Sindhyas accepted the British suzerainty, the British colonial administrators decided to develop Indore as an alternative to Ujjain, because the merchants of Ujjain had supported certain anti-British people. John Malcolm, the British administrator of Central India, decided to reduce the importance of Ujjain, "...by transferring a great part of that consequence it now enjoys to the towns of Indore and Rutlam cities, which are and will continue more under our control." After the independence India, Ujjain became a part of the Madhya Bharat state. In 1956 Madhya Bharat was fused into the state of Madhya Pradesh. Geography <inaudible> 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 Ujjain is located in the west-central part of India, and is north of the upper limit of the Vindhya mountain ranges. Located on the Malwa Plateau, it is higher than the North Indian Plains and the land rises towards the Vindhya Range to the south. Ujjain's coordinates are 23 degrees 10 and 75 degrees 46 e with an average elevation of 494 metres 1620 feet. The region is an extension of the Deccan Traps, formed between 60 and 68 million years ago at the end of the Cretaceous period. The city is on the bank of the river Shipra which flows into the nearby Chambal. The Tropic of Cancer also passes through a temple named Karkoteshwar, located near Harsidi Mandir in Ujjain. Demographics <inaudible> 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 According to the 2011 census, Ujjain has a population of 515,215, 264,871 of whom were male and 250,344 female. The sex ratio is 945 per 1,000 males, and the child sex ratio is 929 girls per 1,000 boys. The city has 58,972 children under the age of 6. 
There were 30,573 boys and 28,399 girls, which formed 11.45% of the total population of the city. The total literates in the city were 385,193, of whom 210,075 were males and 175,118 were females. The average literacy rate of the city is 84.43%. Male and female literacy were 89.66 and 78.90%, respectively. Eugene's population is 77% Hindu, 19% Muslim, and 2.5% Jain. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Government and jurisdiction. Most of the regions surrounding the city are administered by the Ujjain Municipal Corporation (UMC). The city is administered by a divisional commissioner and a collectorate office as well as the mayor. They are responsible for the town and country planning department, forest department, public health engineering, public works department and MP electricity board. Ujjain has been a metropolitan municipality with a mayor council form of government. The Ujjain Municipal Corporation UMC was established in 1956 under the Madhya Pradesh Nagar Palika Nigam Adeniyam. The UMC was established in 1886 as Nagar Palika, but the Municipal Corporation of Ujjain was declared on a par with the Gwalior Municipal Corporation. The UMC is responsible for public education, correctional institutions, libraries, public safety, recreational facilities, sanitation, water supply, local planning, and welfare services. The mayor and councillors are elected to five year terms. The Ujjain Development Authority, also known as UDA, is the urban planning agency serving Ujjain. Its headquarters are located in the Bharatpuri area of Ujjain. It was established under the Madhya Pradesh Town and Country Planning Act, 1973. Ujjain Lok Sabha constituency is one of the 29 Lok Sabha constituencies in Madhya Pradesh state in central India. This constituency came into existence in 1951 as one of the nine Lok Sabha constituencies in the erstwhile Madhya Bharat state. It is reserved for the candidates belonging to the scheduled castes since 1966. This constituency covers the entire Ujjain district and part of Ratlam district. Currently, Dr. Chintamani Malviya of the Bharatiya Janata Party is Member of Parliament who won in the Indian general elections, 2014. Culture Ujjain is considered one of the holiest cities in India, and is a popular pilgrimage centre. Some of the notable sacred places in the city include Chamunda Mata Temple, Ujjain Chintaman Ganesh Temple Gopal Mandir, built by Sawai Jai Singh of Jaipur Iskan Temple Kal Bhairav Temple Mahakaleshwar Jyotirlinga, an ancient temple that was destroyed by Iltutmish and then restored by the Sindhyas of Gwalior Mangalnath Temple, Tropic of Cancer passes through this temple. Other historic places in Ujjain include Ved Shala Sandipani Ashram Kaliata Palace Simhastha The Ujjain Simhastha is a mass Hindu pilgrimage, and one of the fairs recognized as Kumbh Milas. During the Simhastha, Hindus gather to bathe in a sacred river. At Ujjain, it is held once every twelve years, on the banks of K. Shipra River. It is also known as Simhastha, when it falls during Jupiter's stay in Leo of Simha. The latest Simhastha was held in Ujjain from of April 2016 to of May 2016. Topic: Education. Topic: University. Avantika University, Maharshi Panini Sanskrit University, Vikram University, Technical University. Topic Medical Colleges Amaltas Hospital and Medical College Ames Ruxmanaben Deepchand Gardi Medical College GOVT Medical College proposed Topic Engineering Colleges Mahakal Institute of Technology P 
PT. Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Business Management, Vikram University School of Engineering and Technology Ujjain, Vikram University Ujjain Engineering College used be known as Government Engineering College, Ujjain as well, edited by Ravi. Schools The city's government and private schools include Adarshila Academy, Ujjain Bharti Gyan Peeth Higher Secondary School Carmel Convent Senior. Sec. School Christu Jyoti Convent Senior Secondary School Govt. School for Excellence, Madhavnagar Kalidas Montessori School, Madhavnagar Kendriya Vidyalaya, Nagziri Mahaji Sindhya Public School, Chamunda Mata Saraswati Vidya Mandir, Marudaganj, Ujjain Street Mary's Convent School St. Paul's Higher Secondary School Takshishila Junior College Ujjain Public School Oxford Junior College Lokmanya Tilak Higher Secondary School Stanford International School Vidya Bhavan Industry The government of Madhya Pradesh has allotted 1,200 acres for the development of an industrial area on the Diwas Ujjain Road near Narwar village. Originally named, Vikramaditya Knowledge City, the area was envisaged as an educational hub. Due to diminished investment prospects, it was renamed to, Vikram Udayag Nagari, Vikram Industrial City. As of 2014, the government has conceptualized it as a half industrial, half educational area. The stakeholders in the project include the state government and the Delhi Mumbai Industrial Corridor DMIC Trust. Topic: Transportation. Topic: Airport. Ujjain does not have any airport but has an airstrip on Diwas Road which is used for air transport purposes. In 2013, the government of Madhya Pradesh started a Ujjain Bhopal Air Services as a joint venture with Ventura Airconnect. Due to very low booking, the ambitious project was scrapped. The main reason for the failure of the plan was due to improper timing of flights. The nearest airport is the Devi Ahulyabe Holkar International Airport at Indore, 57.2 km. Railway Ujjain Junction is the main railway station of Ujjain, and it is directly or indirectly well connected to all the major railway stations in India. It lies on the Ratlam Bhopal, Indore Nagda and Guna Khandwa route. To the west it is connected to Ratlam Junction, to the north it is connected with Nagda Junction, to the east it is connected with Maxi Junction, Bhopal Junction, and to the south it is connected to Indore Junction BG, Diwas Junction. There are five railway stations in the Ujjain city and its suburbs. <laughs> Road Diwas Gate Stand and Nana Keta Bus Stand are the two bus stands in the city that provide service to destinations located in the states. A large number of state-run private buses are available for Ahmedabad, Jaipur, Ajmer, Kajuraho, Indore, Bhopal, Pune, Mumbai, Kota, Mandu, Halawar and various other locations. The city has a well-connected road network including Indore Road, Badnagar Road, Diwas Road, Agar Road, Nagda Road and Maxi Road. There are three state highways, 18 connects to Ahmedabad, 17 connects to Jayora, and 27 connects to Indore. Other important regional highways passing through the city are Indore, Ujjain Road via Shish 27, Kota, Agar, Ujjain Road via Shish 27, Bhopal, Diwas, Ujjain Road via Shish 18, Ratlam, Barnagar, Ujjain Road via Shish 18, Jayora, Nimak, Ujjain Road via Shish 17. Maxi, Ujjain Road connects to NH3 Ujjain is to surrounded by Ring Road. Mr. 2, Mr. 5, Mr. 10 and Simhas the bypass comes under this Ring Road. 
Local transport Eugene depends on an extensive network of auto rickshaws, city buses, private taxis and Tata Magic, that operate throughout the city, connecting one part with another. UMC has recently introduced city buses with a public-private partnership project as the city was identified urban agglomerations with less than one million population under the Jawaharlal Nehru National Urban Renewal Mission. Sports Cricket is one of the most popular sports in the city. Ujjain is also home to the Ujjain Divisional Cricket Association which is affiliated to BCCI. The city does not have any big stadium, but hosted Ranji Trophy matches at Pipe Factory Ground in 1977 and 1980. Kite flying is another popular activity in the city around Makar Sakranti. There are a few playing fields in Ujjain. Shirsagar Stadium Jaising Pura Indoor Stadium Madhav College Ground Mahakal Institute of Technology Ground Rajmata Vijaya Rajay Sindhya Stadium Vikram University Ground Health care The city has a government hospital Madhav Nagar, District Hospital, ESI Hospital, Cancer Unit, Ujjain Charitable Hospital, Charak Bhavan for Children and Mothers, TB Hospital, Ruxmanaben Deepchand Gardi Medical College and a number of big private hospitals. <laughs> Smart City Ujjain City was shortlisted under the Government of India's flagship program's Smart Cities Mission. Under the mission, UMC Ujjain Municipal Corporation shall participate in the Smart Cities Challenge by Ministry of Urban Development. As part of this, UMC is preparing a Smart City Proposal SCP. SCP will include Smart City solutions based on the consultations to be held with the key stakeholders of the city. UMC invited the suggestions from citizens of Ujjain to make Ujjain as a smart city. The citizens were able to post their views pertaining to basic services such as water supply, sewerage, urban transport, social infrastructure and e-governance. Notable people Notable people who were born or lived in Ujjain include In popular media In his book, The Oath of the Vayaputras, 2013, Mr. Amish Tripathi has mentioned in details about the ancient city of Ujjain. The city is described as a city that conquers pride. Shiva travels to the hidden city of Ujjain along with his entourage to meet the chief of Vasudev Pandits, Gopal. In the movie, Ahsoka. 2001, the emperor dispatches Ahsoka to quell a rebellion in Ujjaini. Before marching to the west, Ahsoka travels to Kalinga to meet Karwaki and Arya. Unable to find them, and not knowing they have gone into hiding, he is informed by General Bhima that they were slaughtered. A heartbroken Ahsoka attempts suicide, but is saved by Virat Dani Denzongpa, who later swears to protect him. Mad with grief and anger, Ahsoka leads a brutal crackdown in Ujjaini. A documentary by National Geographic 2016, focuses on the Simhastha Kumbh that is held every 12 years on the banks of River K. Shipra. The Mela is spread over an area of 3,000 hectares. Camps house different Akaras or sects of Sadhus who come from around India. A sea of people are dressed in shades of saffron and smeared with ash. The striking tikas they wear reveal which sect they belong to. Various akaras organize cultural events including music, dance, spiritual lectures, and sport performances. In the evenings, the center of action is Ram Ghat, where an arti is organized. 